Hey everyone, welcome back to Pause from Plays. Endless memories, endless exploration, ex exploration. Apparently, I can't speak this morning. I guess also spoilers as to when this is being recorded. Actually, uh, the the true facts of that is I really haven't had a chance to record ahead at all. Uh, work's been very busy, so a lot of these are recorded the day of. Is also why they've been coming out at kind of odd times compared to usual. Uh, this seems like it was not the greatest path to take. You know what? I thought I was going to be good there and get all of them, but that's okay. I feel like the uh, the thorn spiral would also be really nice here. My shield would not be nice. Uh, that is a floating barrel. Heartseeker? Is this a, uh, oh, it's two-hander. It's a bad two-hander. What you should really do one of these times is take a, a faster weapon, and I mentioned this in the comments recently, too. Take a faster weapon and try to just go reroll happy until I get a giant attack bonus on it. Even like a dagger or something and just see if that's nuts. Because we had that weapon really early on that was fast but had a huge attack bonus. Is this area just nothing? Did I just come here for no reason? Yes. The answer is yes. This has been the subject for probably the, the past few videos of this, and thank you everyone for that still watching and, and hopefully enjoying it. Um, that I have a weird, conflicting feeling about our progress in the game here, and that it's really fun and easy to play. Not that the game is easy, I would say, but it's easy to play. You know, controls feel good, game feels fun, and satisfying to. To hit things in combat but my god I would love to make some progress because it has been a long time since we've made significant progress now I'm hoping that significant progress is awaiting us down here I mean I'll do these rooms all day Broken sword. Is this a dagger? It is, yeah. Interesting. Not a bad dagger. Uh, I don't think we would want it for the sword and shield. Daggers are weird. I feel like there's a... There's something with the daggers there. Because the, the low-end damage of them makes them kind of bad. Because um, they're just so inconsistent. So, I mean, I guess if you had enough extra damage on them, then I don't know if the poison is enough, because the poison scales off of weapon damage, as far as I can tell. Oh, I see a, uh, I see a stand up in there. Which I'll gladly take. A uh, duelist pair. I think that's all that's here, actually, for better or worse. We get defense. I'll take it. Plus three. I think that's the highest you can roll on those. That's really nice, actually. We've gotten quite a few stand-ups. We're not really getting any level ups anymore. Um, but the stand-ups are nice. Okay, we have... There's a shop over there. So that's something. I doubt we'll want to buy anything from him. At this point, I think we're kind of beyond shop stuff. Let's see. Aluma Fists, I mean, that's actually maybe what we'll, we might actually buy that. Because look at the plus attack on it. I was just talking about this. Um, they actually got a Beam 64 and a Raw Trigger Gun. I wonder what the Raw Trigger Gun is. Uh, we're not going to buy that for sure in, in place of the Lumafist. We will probably buy those. 
Things I have to do to sell my merchandise. You know how hard it was for me to get down here on top of everything else? I had to look through all this trash to find some goodies. Anyway, part of my introduction, I had to get it off my chest. This place stinks. Yeah, literally. Trying to set up my shop at the higher part of the city, but the taxes are out of this universe. Can't sell anything in District 17. Those guys don't have any gold. You know, they're not running a charity here. Even the rats down here are better customers. Unbelievable. All right, we're, we're absolutely going to buy this. Um, and we're going to replace the solar shield. And we'll hope that I was correct on the plus attack. If I am, these should be very, very powerful. The downside is that we really can't afford to reroll them because the chances of getting that attack bonus back are basically zero. Uh, we will, yes, we will pick up the divine bow. Well, that's a that's a very big weapon. hoping to get All right. yeah these do a lot of damage uh, this is a bad example because one that was uh, an elite enemy and two we got this turret just blasting us endlessly but these do a lot of damage and there's some significant movement over here this is a good this is a good weapon It's still tough for us to avoid damage with these projectile enemies, but uh, there is room down there. Uh, it, this might be just a treasure room. I think it is. Skull burner. Looks like a gun. We also have a lot of the ore here. Yeah, it's nothing too impressive. Uh, duality mace. Is this a overhead swinger? It's neat. Uh, I don't think it's better than. Uh, no, I, I doubt it's it's higher base damage than that. Uh, the question is, do we have? No, I, I mean honestly, I think poison is still. The best. We might want to uh, take these fists and put electricity on them. I feel like we've had a lot of of good bonuses from the electric attack. Ah, actually, it didn't kill him, huh? This looks promising. Maybe not? Crystal bow. Ah. Whoa, okay. And that's how we're going to do this, huh? Probably off, better off with the bow there, actually. How long is this section gonna be? All right, but I am out of healing here. Oh, thank God. Transport and a save point. Oh, this goes underground. Okay, this is actually really, really good. Um, don't really wanna deal with those. Sand tornado. I don't even know if there's gonna be anything up here. Wow, this is messy. Holy crap. This looks like a dead end here. Your chest. Uh, broken sword. I mean, that's a really good one. 
I think we're going to stick with this. Alright, we'll go back down. Save to refill. Feeling decent about where we are right now. Well, these enemies that are pure contact damage too are throwing me off a little bit, like the rats and such. Like, we can't parry these shots, right? I don't think so. I think this is a boss fight. It's finally happening. At least I hope so. Oh, another filthy human. Your cube is creating those machines brought destruction to our world. I'm Fricko. Le <laughs> really? Leader of the rat resistance and I'm the one taking vengeance for years of oppression. After the war, we continued to gain strength, and now we control the entire sewer and one of the robot's power sources. Once we master it, we'll be able to destroy their leaders and their great weapon of war. But first, I'm going to destroy you. Maybe then those humans will get... Uh, humans above will get the message. Okay, fricko. Here's what we're going to do. Oh, you know what I'm going to do, actually? We're going to switch... Having, having trouble hitting him here with this. There we go. Well, that's... Okay. If I stay close to him, for the most part, he has a lot, a lot more trouble hitting me. Oh, that, that fire was unexpected. I feel like that last heal didn't actually heal me. Oh, I'm in trouble, actually. That was a little close. I think that was my best my best course of action there, even still. Um, Boy, I hope there's no enemies over here. All right, there is a save point in the mainframe here. Yeah, of course we'll take the free money. Uh, so that breaks through here and we have this transporter. That is nice. So that brings us to that area. And what was over here? Was this? Oh, it was a... Health soul there. That breaks that. Oh, that's right. That's the portal. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Um, there's gotta be something else down there though. We might actually be almost be done with this area. Should be awesome. is a level one weapon. All right, we got another one of these. I might need to switch to our two-hander because these things are really tough to hit. That opens the door, nice. Kari. Yeah. It's got a totem. Yeah. Did the turrets respawn? My guess would be yes, yeah. 
Oh, coming at them from the other direction is kind of nasty, isn't it? All right, so we open the door there. Um, which is here, right? Um, I am curious. Because there's some stuff up here, right? That we didn't explore? I'll be honest that uh, it's probably of debatable use to come up here. Oh, the treasure chest there. Fireball, no thanks. Fist mastery. I'm not, I'm not dealing with any of these. Oh, this just connects across. Okay. I won't turn down the free currency. Uh, so where can we go here? We can go up through this way. I'm a little torn here. Um, my desire to explore versus my desire to just get the heck out of this place. Can we climb this wall? No. Oh, that's right. I, I, I do remember this as being a little bit of a pain. There we go. Uh, there is something theoretically over here. Oh, except you have to... Uh... I'm going to do it only because... It could be a soul for being something that's a little tricky to get to. We're not going to take a lot of attempts at this, though. I'll, I'll be honest about that. But I would like to get whatever it is. Alright. It's just a treasure chest. That's fine. Sand spikes. No thanks. I should have I should have been able to make that. That's okay. Do we actually know how much damage poison is doing? And then thinking about it. Not a lot, right? Maybe it's time maybe it's time we switch. Uh, maybe we do take the fist mastery. I mean, that, that seems like a pretty significant amount of extra damage. Um, and we need to go up. There is actually one more place to explore to the right on the way. Kind of miss the take damage of the poison, even though it is weaker. These enemies are enemies that that dodge vertically just out of your range all the time. Very annoying. Unsuccessfully tried to parry him there. Nah, we don't need Frost Pulse. It's a pretty good one, though. We have a ton of ore. 
Um, ore is not really the stopping point for our upgrades anymore. It's mostly just raw currency. Uh, we need to just go across here. That enemy did a lot of damage to me, actually. Getting the heck out of here. Is there a save point near here? There is down below. My only concern is that if I go down there, can I not get back up? No, it looks like I can get back up. Uh, I don't know if this is really the best path, but I don't know what that enemy was. All right, there's nothing else here. No hidden walls, okay. Yeah, what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna go and upgrade. Uh, do I have runes to dip? No, not really. So what I think what I want here is we want an element on the fists. There we go. That's what we were looking for. And then we'll upgrade it. All right, can only upgrade to plus three. Uh, I guess we could actually dismantle a couple of runes here. Is there any other? Oh, we actually have another Fist Mastery. Let me get rid of that one. I still think Electric Blades only works on actual bladed weapons. Also a little pro UI tip there. If you uh, if you just hit confirm on a room when your slots are full, it'll actually organize the rest of them. Or at least condense the rest of them. Oh, don't tell me I can't get back up here. Okay. I was going to be <laughs> very displeased. Let's find out what is in this door. Uh, it'll probably be the last thing we do here. It's not this door, it's the next door. That door just, I believe, exits. That's a, that's a lot of damage. Insert meme here, but... That's a lot of damage. And we have a pretty high crit rate, too. It doesn't increase the modifiers, does it? No. I had to check them. Uh, we might actually get rid of the revenge damage. You know what? Maybe we should. Maybe we should get rid of the revenge damage and just add... Weapon Mastery here. There's our transporter. Save is nearby. We 
Maybe we'll go into that door next time, because it's getting to be about that time. All right, we'll do that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did click like, helps a bunch. Subscribe for more. I'll see you soon.